hey what's going on everybody january flowers here your favorite home girl and today we're breaking down rumors confirming cast members and speaking on jocelyn's cabaret season four new york yes if you are new to the channel like the video share the video consider subscribing if you enjoy this content welcome to the garden if you are returning to this channel hey pool i hope you're having a good weekend now we got some confirmation Tease. Now, y'all know a couple weeks ago, um, I brought a few videos to the channel speaking on cast members who were returning from previous seasons coming back. Now, a few names that I dropped, people came at me sideways, told me I was lying, child. I'm making up stuff. Girl, well, I got receipts today and I'm bringing it to the table. Yes. Now, Jocelyn recently posted a video confirming two faces, which we kind of know were there. But if you didn't, I'm going to show you guys all the footage we have a speculated cast member and then we have a slew of other women who we don't know to look forward to yes this video will be confirming some people from the past but i promise you guys this is not ruining the season this isn't giving up tea people have said like um these videos ruin the season before you get to see it. It doesn't. It's really just speculation tea. For some of us, we were fans of the girls that are returning, so we want to know what's going on. Now, anyway, a day or two ago, Jocelyn had her wrap up at Starlet's in New York. So they had this huge finale. Now, Jocelyn decided to post a video of the final performance on her page. Now, we're going to look at the video without sound for copyright reasons, okay? We have to protect the channel. But what we're going to do in this video is while Jocelyn is performing, I'm going to try to zoom in on a couple of familiar faces. Let's get into the tea. Okay, so you see Jocelyn going up to perform, right? You see her? Look right behind her over on the right hand side you see the girl with the afro that's yummy so we have yummy p right behind her and on the opposite side is miss natural both women are confirmed the two young ladies in the front of them pay attention y'all might have to do a rewind or two just so we can get this deeper detail the two that's in the front the more curvier girl i believe on jocelyn's left i'm not sure who she is so yummy's on jocelyn's left yes I'm not sure who she is, but the girl in front, let's rewind it back, on the same side as Miss Natural. Let me see if I can freeze frame. Yes. Okay, now, y'all got to pay attention to me. It's the girl in front of Miss Natural. That's the girl who was brawling with Big Lex. Mm-hmm. I didn't bring this tea to the channel because I needed confirmation or two, but you guys remember that brawl that happened a couple of... um. A week or two ago with Jocelyn versus Big Lex, child, we thought it was Yummy P jumping into the situation. It's this new girl and she's bucked up. Mm -hmm. So this girl has like natural hair like Yummy P, but Yummy P decided to change her hair from that brown color to this blonde so that we wouldn't continue to confuse them, which I don't blame her because by that girl wearing her curly hair, it was given twins. Now, let me show you guys that clip for those who missed it. Shout out to Zeus Bad Boys Club. So they caught the footage of Jocelyn performing at the Mayweather fight, y'all. And it was two girls, two naturalistas in a house. Now, one of them, of course, was caught handling Big Lex in the background. You see this girl with this massive afro. Now, because a lot of us are familiar with Yummy P, this is the look Yummy P had all season two. Besides her confessionals when she would sometimes have it bone straight. And I think she wore it bone straight when she first entered the house. But once Yummy, you know, you know, once that tick started to happen with Yummy, she was wearing her hair natural the rest of the season. So we was a little confused. I just wanted to clear up that tea for y'all. So it may not have been... Um, Oh, this is Big Lex recording. This was Big Lex. I didn't get to see her wear her wig and stuff on. Child, Big Lex was recording Jazz and the Girls perform before that big fight. I don't get it. This is so weird to me. I have to say it's weird. Okay, so all the notes I've gathered on her case, Big Lex situation. So I've heard so many different things. Lex, let me bring it to the table real quick because we might as well give you an update. You are part of the cabaret technically. Now, look, I got that she was invited. I got that it was Zeus event. You know, what was she doing there? She's now on STV. Did he boggle? Listen, 
obviously Zeus tapped a lot of girls on their shoulders from previous seasons I don't know the conversation that was had with Big Lex I heard it was date night turned into fight night if you will but by her recording and showing support and love I don't get it y'all was Big Lex supposed to be on this season well that's still up this video will be confirming a lot of things but that is still up now that I'm gonna have to follow the season for when it premieres because I just want to know the deeper details why did this new girl feel like she had to jump into the situation and um does yummy p have a um social media page because she don't really speak up for herself child because i would have been the first one saying uh-uh it ain't me and them child but let's get back to the deeper details all right so so far in this video we have confirmed miss natural and yummy p now that okay isn't really a shock but I may have something for you guys that is yes now of course you know I've been following this story very closely trying to give you all the deeper details so that once the season starts we can see what theories were correct which ones were incorrect well the girls have been going around taking cast photos now one name I dropped which a lot of people came at me about and was like how could you say that you making up stuff for clicks and views well lucky hustler yes and i know you guys are like jan come on lucky would never return well people said the same thing about big lex but i'm telling you all when money's on the line it it i'm telling you you never know what someone's gonna do for that check now this picture looks normal but if we zoom in closely zoom 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 it's two girls right behind jocelyn because jocelyn's right there on that stage one girl is donned in a feathery outfit she has braids coming down in the front long extensive lashes who could that be brown skin diva right next to her we have a girl with vivid blonde hair she has on her chloe shade she's wearing this lace ball gown on stage has her boobs loose i think they call it paris in london who could that be mm-hmm so right here we have confirmation of lucky hustler and miss wet wet yes now miss wet wet is someone who i previously confirmed not no true t but lucky is i didn't have any footage of her actually being there or even being at the show but i had some tea y'all and i'm just gonna spill it here because i don't know if it's true or not but it sounds like it could be and the reason why i'm gonna say that is because of this on um season vegas jocelyn would sometimes leave girls behind who didn't learn a routine or didn't or wasn't up to snuff atlanta she really didn't do that in season one she didn't do that like you always had to work regardless of your routine you would either do floor work or stuff like that but season three they was really on a bully stuff so i was told that we may not be seeing lucky because maybe she's not there or either she left the season but to confirm on a story we did yesterday on diamond and raven someone told me the reason we haven't seen diamond out is because she's been home mm -hmm. and the speculations and rumors on something else that may be going on with diamond i'm still waiting to get confirmation on that um i have been i appreciate the um tea i've been getting in my dm on diamond but i need a little bit more receipts i either need like her saying it or me seeing her for me to continue her case because right now it's speculations with diamond and to me diamond um isn't a heavy hitter in the game so i don't really you know search her that much but this lucky hustler tea people was coming at me for that so y'all girl luck luck <laughs> she went back back okay and it's just to let you guys know i don't make up stuff this is stuff that i'm either told or fishing for details on and i get to those deeper details so that's one more and we also have a rumor yes we have a rumor mill let's check this out yes shout out to zeus unlocked yes we have another speculation so if you guys remember the baddies west auditions there was a girl named abby um she was a woman of trans experience and she wanted to get on the baddies west now according to zeus unlocked abby from the baddies west auditions is an official cast member of johnson's cabaret in new york now let's you know debate this a little bit um i don't know her social media I don't know if she spoke it or if this is just Zeus speaking it. I do remember her though. I do remember her from the auditions, but I don't know. And I'm like, why haven't I seen her around? Or have I seen her around? Because a lot of people have said that Daisy has returned and this girl does somewhat favor. Uh-huh. So when Zeus Unlocked put out this tea, I said, now wait a minute, queen. 
I said, have we? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Because her look is very similar to Daisy. Now, look, when I said that speculation, Zeus Unlock added this T. If you look closely, the face in, in front is, is Daisy's face. But behind her is reportedly Abby. Mm-hmm. I don't know, y'all. This is another speculation T. But this will also be a face we haven't seen out a lot. You see what I'm saying? So does that mean this is another house girl? Because so far, this is the third house girl. So Jocelyn may have left Diamond home. Um, so reportedly, Raven quit before the season began. Like early episode one or two, we'll see her quit. Um, speculations on this girl, Abby. Maybe she ain't learning a step. She might be home because I haven't seen her in any promo pictures. Like at least Lucky, I've seen with the girls. Um but diamond or raven i haven't seen with the girls honestly but let's jump into these comments so someone said congratulations to abby someone else says zeus unlock period yes someone else said she commented something weird once so i hope the girls drag her Ooh. well i don't know yo but that's a speculation rumor t that um this girl may be joining cast so I just had to drop some tea for y'all. We have, um, you know, girls confirmed. We have speculation girls. And even looking at this photo that they did taking a club one night, I do see Wet Wet Yummy, Daisy, and Miss Natural. And I see a slew of other women that we're going to meet along the way. So this should be a fun season. And like I said, those who end up not making a cut or Jocelyn leaves at home, it is what it is at one point. Jocelyn trying to make this show work. According to her Breakfast Club interview, you know, she wants to have more children. She wants to get her motherly bag. So I'm sure she's trying to find a group of girls where this is just going to work for her. And she can just continue to push this, um, you know, this cabaret bag, if you will. Yes. But y'all stay locked to the channel. Let me know what y'all think about this tea. And um, I did get a question. Someone said, like, why would some of these girls return? People are big surprised at these names dropping, which... I don't blame them. For people who don't follow the series, these girls went through a lot with the original Jaws. Even the one smiling, you know what I'm saying? Um, she has disrespected them all, but they've all returned, and I really do believe it's for a lucrative reason. If, if one of them said, I would have returned to her show without any money, and I just want to dance, 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 I, I would be surprised. We could just go down the list. Okay, so who we know that's returning? All right, let's start from season one. Jocelyn and Daisy. Okay, Jocelyn and Daisy got into it. They fought in the back of the club over um, girls being involved in a cabaret. They fought. Um, rumors of Jocelyn bringing back Yummy. She called um, Yummy a witch. She says she's nothing more than a witch. Um, Jocelyn and Miss Natural. She told Miss Natural she need meds. She's unhinged, if you will. Um, Jocelyn versus Big Lex. Do we need to di discuss that when I mean y'all seen it? She don't like her. Um, Jocelyn versus Lucky Hustler. I think her and Lucky fell out when Jocelyn and Sapphire fell out because Jocelyn disrespected Sapphire for wanting to attend, I believe, her bait, her children's father's funeral over doing something. I don't know. It was something weird, but they fell out over something weird too. So a lot of these names, even Wet Wet. Let me, what she call her dragon breath? <laughs> she said um, she needed her mouth done. Like, she came for a lot of these girls. Even with um, Diamond and Raven. She said, oh, here come the fake Kardashians. And stuff like that. So, like, people are surprised, y'all, when these names come up. Because these girls have been dragged from A to Z by the original Jocelyn. So, you know, it is what it is. But one thing Jocelyn said on a breakfast club was that um, I'm this way with them. Because I need them to do what I want them to do when I tell them to do it. And I said, ooh. Yeah, she's giving a deeper detail. But um, like I said, a check is on the line. Mm-hmm. A check or two. Yes. I'm telling y'all. Them people who keep asking me, but Jan, why? Jan, but what? Jan, would you? Jan. And let me tell you, would I? Yes. Now, I know y'all talking about, girl, money on the line. If I'm in a situation, Nan, these girls ain't touring. Them girls were sitting at home since being on the last season. Shit. People want to offer me a check or two? Sure. They say, you want to be back in the house with Jocelyn? Well, this go around, I know how to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? Knock her out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all 
shade, all shade. I'm just joking, y'all. These are just jokes. You know, I don't promote violence on the channel. It's just jokes, 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 alleged tea. Um, but yeah, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Stay locked to the channel because I will keep you up to date on all the latest tea. Would you return? <laughs> How much of a check would you need to bounce back into the house with Jocelyn? Yes, that's something we never really discussed. What would I need to just dance back around her? Well, I reportedly heard, and this is from Jocelyn's mouth, that she pays her girls $500 per day. Now, we can do some quick math. I never said I was a mathematician, but I do know Google. Now, so far, they've, they've been filming four weeks. When she was on The Breakfast Club, she said four weeks. So this last week would have been five, right? So we're going to say 500 times five weeks, okay? How many days in the week is seven, okay? Child, we getting the deeper details, okay? Hmm. So that's 35 days, right? So we're going to do 35 times 500 um mm -hmm, i don't know because that would be what like 17k also oh like the girls are getting paid 20k now i have heard that i'm not gonna lie y'all i have heard that the zeus payout is about 20k per cast member i have heard that before now i never really posted about it because i don't have a receipt some stuff is just street gossip you see what i'm saying from the streets so i mentioned things to y'all but i don't do whole videos on it because i didn't get that deeper detail but stuff like this with the um situation in the situation that gave a deeper detail so i said let's discuss it but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about this stuff people really be asking but it is what it is y'all y'all gotta understand this it's money you see what I'm saying? People, people hungry. People like to have luxurious things. People want, people want. And maybe that's all I need to say. Like either they want this or want that or need this or need. That's a need. And if me dancing for a couple of weeks, dealing with a lunar two, it's going to get me what I need to do for me and mine. Even if it's just for myself. Some of these people don't have kids. But what about the ones that do? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. So I know y'all just be curious, but just think about that stuff. Sometimes a bill is due. You know what I'm saying? Season two was how long ago? We up to season four. These girls hungry. No wonder these producers and networks can knock on their door. They run back, girl. Who feeding them? Just think, who feeding them? We don't see them torn. We don't see them. You see what I'm saying? So y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think, y'all. It's giving a deeper detail, right? We're going to see what this season bringing, but off already this season looking to be off the chain, okay? So, what did I think about today's tea? Well, I was happy to get the um the deeper detail on Lucky. Um, I have been getting a lot of tea on Diamond, but I'm just not favorable of her, and I don't think I will be. Um, I present her information because I know there is fanfare for her. But to me, she's despicable, you know? Um, we'll see what's done when the season is all completed. But I do think this is going to be a good one. Going in, I do think this is going to be a good season. Who am I looking forward to seeing? I am, oddly enough, looking forward to the return of Yummy P. Um, I really want to know what made Miss Natural come back to y'all. So that storyline, Lucky Hustling, Big Lex, that storyline. Miss Wet Wet, of course, I'm not surprised. She's probably going to be funny. But, of course, also meeting all the new girls. And, you know, seeing what these new girls could bring to the table. Because when I originally thought it was all our stars and I learned that it is new girls thrown in there as well. To me, that's going to be an interesting mix. It is given baddies but it's given Jocelyn's version because Jocelyn isn't bringing in socialites and other reality stars she's bringing girls from the past girls who's worked with her before you see what I'm saying some of these new girls have never worked with her so the other girls have a leg up a little little bit because she did disrespect them but a little little bit they may know what she wants so We'll see what it is, y'all. But I want to thank y'all for spending time with me today. Please comment below. Let me know your thoughts, how you feeling, what you thinking. Like I said, please let me the amount, the amount you would need to return to the show and dance your heart away. Mm -hmm. They locked to the channel, y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.